is fructose the cause of obesity? The glycemic index offers an interesting, and scientifically valid, way of assessing the types of carbohydrates we eat. It measures and rates the way these carbohydrates enter the bloodstream, and in doing so offers a way of approaching a meal so that it may be both nutritionally valid, and keep hunger pangs at bay. This of course is one way of preventing overeating. Low glycemic index foods enter the bloodstream more slowly, and so don't raise blood sugar levels like high glycemic index foods. So, what is a carbohydrate? All sugars, or foods that are broken down into sugar, are carbohydrates. This includes regular sugar, glucose, fructose, lactose, maltose, all types of starches from potatoes to noodles and pasta, and legumes, such as lentils and peas. Food is considered to have a low GI. Interestingly though, recent research has found what they believe is a link between fructose and obesity. However, the type of fructose studied was in corn syrup, which is a refined and concentrated form of fructose. Researchers from the University of Florida found that fructose may make people believe they are hungrier than they should be, and when these researchers interrupted the way fructose was metabolized, the rats they were working with did not put on weight, even though they still ate fructose. This is not the first research that has suggested fructose may be linked to a propensity to put on weight, more so than other types of food. A study at the University of Cincinnati found that eating fructose led to greater fat storage. They say that the body processes fructose differently to other types of sugars, though again, it is not clear if this is mitigated by perhaps the lower concentration of fructose in fruit as compared to the corn syrup used in the study. The research from the University of Florida found that there were higher levels of uric acid in the bloodstream after eating or drinking fructose. If uric acid levels are elevated a lot, then symptoms of metabolic syndrome can develop. These symptoms include high blood pressure, high cholesterol levels, as well as gaining a lot of weight. What is a possible concern to people is that fructose is used in a lot of soda drinks, so if you drink a lot of soda it is going to be quite easy to frequently spike uric acid levels in the blood. Metabolic syndrome is also a precursor of type 2 diabetes. Signs of metabolic syndrome include fat on the abdomen, such that the waist appears as big as the hips or larger. All of these things can be tested by doctors. References colon 1 http colon slash slash www.nutrongredients.com slash news slash egg dot ask n equals six four three nine five and m equals one need oh eight and c equals root ma b at stub two Australian Healthy Food November 2053 Nature and Health October November 2005